Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, and then, so this will be a spoiler-free review, um, so I won't talk about any specifics from the book, just kind of like my general takeaway from it. Um, and so the first thing, let me, let, me, let me just say, so Elantris is Brandon Sanderson's first novel. Um, this is the fourth novel written by him that I've read. Um, I've read uh, Mistborn in the Final Empire, Mistborn in the Well of Ascensions, and then The Way of Kings, um, and now Elantris. And so of those four, this is definitely the weakest of those four books that is not to say that this book was bad by any means this book is well above average of like what what you will read it is just that brandon sanderson has gotten so much better like with his writing and like i mean it's, it, this felt like a first novel this was his first novel and this felt like a first novel um and so like just some of the you know it just wasn't quite as sharp as his other work um so brandon sanderson he usually has fantastic endings um every book i've read of his he has a great ending this book had a really good ending um it just wasn't as good as all of his other other endings because what he usually has is he'll have like little hints and clues all throughout the story and then it all like kind of comes together in this like beautiful like crescendo at the end um and this book did that just to a less successful degree than the other three books he's read and so like like i said but it had a really good ending and also just no spoilers or anything but brandon sanderson likes to put twists in his stories i love twists and elantris is no exception he had several twists in the story which i i really enjoy i enjoy an author that's that's you know willing to subvert, subvert expectations a little bit um in terms of brandon sanderson's character work again this is something that he's usually excels at um this is his weakest kind of character work that I've seen. Um, the main antagonist for the story I found to be the most compelling character. Um, it was just a, a, a lot more moral grayness, a lot more um, just kind of the motivations I felt were really fleshed out in a way that made the antagonist really, or yeah, the antagonist really interesting. Uh, the two protagonists, um, I thought that they had really good chemistry. I thought that there was... Oh, oh, there, there were a lot of really good elements to them. They were just a lot more static than I'd like to be my main characters to be. I like to see some like development, some growth, um, you know, just some different angles. And, and neither of them really had that. Um, I found the setting of this story to be really interesting. Like the overall concept I found to be very, very interesting. Um, and so if you, if you care a lot about like world building um, and the magic system in this story really really cool really engaging the magic system is probably the most intriguing part of the story um i found it to be just really fascinating and just really interesting to kind of learn more about as the story progresses um something that's also kind of interesting so brandon sanderson um all of his novels are connected or at least most of, like 99 percent of his novels are connected i think he has like a few like young adult novels that aren't connected but they're connected in what he calls the cosmere that just refers to like brandon sanderson's universe for all of his novels uh, and they're not connected in the sense of like the mcu universe um all the marvel movies how they're all connected where there's like these massive crossovers and like it's not like that it's more like the stephen king universe where there's like just little hints in all the books that kind of point you in the direction that like oh see this is happening in the same universe um that is kind of what's happening in the cosmere i've only read four books in the cosmere there are many entries and so I personally, I, there's one thing in the story where I, I think that that was the connection. They're, they're like, because that's the thing is there's like these little Easter eggs where it's like, oh, you find them, and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, and I think I found out what the one is, but it's just so subtle. So that's just to say that his books are connected, but they're connected in such a subtle way that like it makes it a little bit more. It's it's fun. It's definitely fun. Um, and especially because um, he's you know this all launches this is his first book. Um, and so the he has a series of books called the Stormlight Archive. And that is where, like, I think a lot of people see the connections. That's where, like, a lot of the things come together just because it's, like, his epic fantasy series that he's writing. Um, and so I think that there were some connections. I'm only one book into the Stormlight Archive, so I'm, I'm assuming as I read more books into it, there will be more connections to be seen. Uh, but this isn't the kind of universe where you're going to get, like, some, like, big crossover. Um, but that's, you know, getting a little off track here. But so overall, I found Elantris to be really good. I found it to be a really good introduction to Brandon Sanderson. I would actually recommend to a lot of people um if they don't want to read like if they don't want to jump right into a series um because if they want to jump right into a series i would say read mistborn mistborn was awesome mistborn was such a good book and it was just that was phenomenal that was brandon sanderson's second novel so this is his first novel if you don't want a series if you're like oh i don't want to be like super invested in like multiple books even though mistborn's only three books 
Um, it's like not that many. Um, it's not super big either. Um, if you just like, I want one novel in Launchers, I would point you towards that. Um, even though I would say that the first Mistborn book really doesn't even feel like it's part of a series, um, at least not that much. Um, but overall, I would say that if you're looking to like kind of get into fantasy or just get into kind of like what could be considered kind of an epic fantasy within one book. Just, this is just one book. There's not like there's no sequels or anything. It's just one book. Um, I would suggest a launcher. I think it's really well done. I think that the plot um, fairly engaging. I found the characters more interesting than like most characters that you're gonna read. It just wasn't up to the standard that Brandon Sanderson has set with his other books, which is just so high. He's so good. But to be fair to him, this was the first novel they ever put out. So like I mean, it's still way ahead of the game. Um, and so I, I really enjoyed this book. Um, probably won't be something that I reread for super long time I, I could definitely see myself rereading in the future but anyway um if you guys enjoyed this kind of like spoiler free review please let me know in the comments but if you'd prefer to meet me talking about like more specifics from the book kind of like what i do in my like wheel of time reviews and most of my reviews actually i do uh spoiler filled section at the end um but if you guys would prefer like you know keeping this entirely spoiler free if you like this or if you like it when i like dig into the specifics about the story you know comment down below what you prefer um but if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and have a great day